so I saw that TermBio has a few therapies in the pipeline. So how far are you away from human trials? And what would be the first trial? Yeah, we, we are not, uh, knock on wood, we are not too far away. <laughs> yeah. uh, obviously, the, the, first, uh, the first step will be phase one, which is mm. uh, an, a, safety, a safety trial more than an efficacy, than an efficacy trial. But we're not, we're not far. Um, we have two programs that are moving fast. One is in dermatology and one is in immunology, immunotherapy. Both for both of them, we are we're very optimistic, and uh, we think that uh, uh, we're going to have preliminary conversation with FDA next year, and uh, if everything goes well by the early twenty twenty four, we should be able to begin the first uh, small safety clinical trial uh, for both of them. Right. So the first one is uh, for dermatology, but would it also look at Hair, yeah, make hair so, younger. <laughs> yes, that's that's definitely you know in the, the dermatology of course is a, is a very broad is a very broad uh, uh, field. Uh, we're gonna we will likely begin with uh, um, kind of clinical conditions of uh, skin aging. So, mm -hmm. for example, wound healing, uh, which is a massive problem for 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 the elderly population. But that, that's, uh, we see dermatology. You know, dermatology is very exciting because it's uh, rejuvenating the skin means a lot of different things, which are obviously aesthetic in a way, mm -hmm. but they're also, uh, they have a lot of implications in terms of, in terms of, of, of safety and in terms of really clinical uh, outcomes. Uh, the skin is the first barrier to pathogens. Mm -hmm. So having a younger skin means also having that first barrier to pathogens, which is much, much more healthy and resistant. So that can have implications on other things uh, like developing, or development of infections, wound healing, and so on. So by doing that, we see a number then down the road, a number of other uh, applications from you know, hair loss, hair discoloration, loss of pigmentation, and so on, which uh, you know, will be tackled. But we so there is there is really a lot of a plethora of opportunities down there, and I think that ERA really has the potential to 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 tackle a lot of them. At the same time, we need to be we need to be strategic. We need to be down to earth, and we need to deliver. So mm -hmm. you know, the, we are going to start with with one thing, and then we are we, that's going to be our gateway to 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 many other many other um, uh, clinical clinical needs. Right. So if you could share, what would the delivery look like? Would it be like a cream? Would it be like needles or how, how would it work? Well, at the beginning, I think uh, it's going to be we're, we're going to we don't know what we don't want to reinvent the wheel in that in that regard. So mm -hmm. we are probably going to use existing solutions for for delivery. For example, micro injection, micro needling. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of wounds, of course, you know, since it's a it's an open it's an open tissue in a way. Probably we're we're gonna we're gonna use potentially some topicals there. Mm. Uh, eventually, yes, I think that uh, uh, we will be able to deliver topicals that are, are gonna be able uh, even in the absence of, of a wound that are gonna really be able to 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 go through the skin layer and target the tissues under underneath. It it requires a lot of work. It requires a lot of, a lot of technology because uh, uh, this is really the holy grail uh, of the the holy grail of uh, of uh, um, of the technology, but I think I think that you know we will get there at some point. This video is brought to you by Bioptimizers. Magnesium is a crucial mineral for hundreds of reactions in the body and impacts everything, including sleep and muscle and bone health. It is difficult to get sufficient magnesium through our food. In our efforts to remain fit and healthy, my wife and I frequently exercise, after which it's important to recover well and get restful sleep. To help us with this, we chose Magnesium Breakthrough from Bioptimizer because it blends all seven essential forms of magnesium into one effective supplement while also using all natural ingredients and being gluten, soy, and lactose free. It has improved our recovery and sleep quality since we've been taking it. And we're happy to tell you that Bioptimizers are offering a 10% discount for Magnesium Breakthrough to Modern Healthspan audience. Just go to www.magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash modern or click on the link in the description to get a 10% discount with coupon code MODERN10.
Thank you for your Do you support. also have an immunology uh, trial? Uh, so I saw you said that that was kind of that was going to be ex vivo, which is so. Can you talk a little bit about how that would work? Sure. This, so this is kind of a, an interesting and fascinating aspect of our era. So uh, anytime there is an aging like phenotype or or an aging like process that affects uh, the cells, that's what that's where era can really make a difference. So. Um, there, is, there are therapies out there that are called immunotherapies that they rely basically on the use of uh, uh, T cells that are extracted from the, from the body of the patients that are genetically engineered to then be able to recognize uh, a certain tumor type, okay? Uh, so those are called CAR T cells, um, C-A-R T cells. So those cells basically are T cells uh, that of the body, you isolate them, you expand them. Those are not stem cells, but they are somatic, fully differentiated cells that can very rapidly expand in vitro. You engineer them so that they can now express a receptor that is expressed on cancer cells. And so once the cells are engineered that way, they get re-injected into the patient, they can then recognize the tumor and they can kill it. They can phagocyte it, okay? Now that's great. You know, this has a lot of implications for, and there is a lot of clinical trials already happening in the in, in that uh, in that space. But there is one problem, which is a fundamental problem, because of the fact that you have to isolate the cells, expand them to massive numbers, engineer them to 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 express this uh, this chimeric antigen, you know, to recognize the tumor. The cells go through a process of exhaustion. They go through a process of aging. They become weak. They become fatigued over time. So that, that means that they become less and less capable of killing the tumor cells because they really become exhausted. It's called CAR T exhaustion. So that's, that's really an aging phenotype mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily happen because of the chronological age of the patient. Of course, the chronological age of the patient has an additive effect on that. Mm -hmm. The older the patient, the, the more exhausted the, the cells become. But that's a perfect example where the cells, again, become aged. And that's where, you know, and that's, it's a perfect cell type where you can use ERA now to rejuvenate those cells, mm -hmm. make them younger, make them functional, make them potent and fit again. Uh, and we have beautiful preliminary data showing that that's really the case. Uh, and so since this, the exhaustion is really the fundamental bottleneck at this, at this moment of all the CAR T therapies that are out there, we think that we could potentially help all of those therapies to make very potent, very powerful CAR T cells. Uh, what does that mean? That means that you could, for example, reduce the dosage. So the number of cells that you have to re-inject into the patient in order to have the same killing, the tumor killing capacity. So that has a lot of implications in terms of safety and cytotoxicity. But it also means that you can dramatically cut the cost of those therapies and uh, uh, make them available for <clears throat> a, a huge number of, of people. It also means that you know by reducing the, the the number of cells, by reducing the cost, you're also increasing the number of cells that you can potentially bank mm. for the same patients. And so, in case of relapses, you can actually have way more shots on target, uh, you know, for for that for that for that person. That means that you can you can have multiple injections you know available or multiple administrations available for for that patients which we hope uh, uh, potentially would translate into being able really to uh, to to harness the full power of CAR T technology and make making these technologies available to to, to a lot of people <clears throat> so i saw that you are developing trno5 which is for frailty uh, and that actually seems to be the one that, at least in the mouse model, you've moved further forward, furthest forward with because you've regenerated the muscle. H how is that one? Yeah, no, no, it's it's actually probably it's probably historically is the program in for which we had the most significant and the most rob robust uh, preclinical data uh, mm -hmm. in, in and safety data already in our in our hands. 
Um, the reason why we didn't follow up uh, with that as a, as a first uh, program is uh, because, you know, from a, from a regulatory standpoint, uh, frailty or, 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 or sarcopenia, or that's, that's not really yet considered uh, an indication. Mm -hmm. And so from a regulatory standpoint, actually moving forward with that program would have been much more difficult. Mm -hmm. But again, things, times are, are changing. Uh, and there is there is actually way more awareness uh, at the regulatory level uh, that we need to start thinking about aging in a completely different way, mm -hmm. and we need to start thinking about the complexity of the uh, of all the, the 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 outcomes of aging in a in a in a in a different way in a very comprehensive way as well. Um, so uh, I'm very hopeful, and the 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 osteo muscle program uh, is something that it, it would be kind of the first year um, uh, next programs that we will start working on uh, as soon as we move the the first two uh, to the clinical stage. Mm -hmm.